welcome back to Nearly Nerds. Ladies and gentlemen, I am absolutely a shell of my former self. I am less of a man today. And you may look at me and think, this guy looks dishevelled. I am dishevelled. I'm stressed. I have been through the ringer and I've been playing Shadow of the Erd Tree. And yeah, it's been insane. It's been intense. I'm going to give you guys my day one review. And if you're wondering why... You can see more of the shelf than you've ever seen before. It is because I've stood up. I had to stand up. I had to shake it off. I had to get myself going. And yeah, I, I am going to give you my day one review of Elden Ring. And try and be as honest as I can. And give you a bit of an update on how, I, how I'm feeling about the game. About eight hours into it. So let's start off by talking about the, the enemies. So when it comes to the enemies, they have a completely new move set every single character has just moves that you've never seen before they obviously will have some moves that you've seen in the past um but generally it is completely new move sets and it is like learning a whole new game it's like starting fresh and like you've never played this game before because everyone has new moves everyone is nails Everyone is nails when it comes to basic floor enemies, when it comes to the bosses. Everyone hits like a truck. And uh, I'll be honest, the, the floor enemies take damage quite well. So you can hit them. You'll probably kill them in a few hits. Uh, but the bosses, they're tanks. They are literal tanks. They absorb hits extremely well and they lay down the law just better than I've ever seen before. They are so hard hitting that I am dying in about two or three hits every time. I've really got to concentrate and dodge as much as I can to be able to make sure that I'm not dying as quick as, as I mean I am. They're, they're killing me so quick. They've got new weapons that you've never seen before. So they've got new ashes of war that are doing new things that you've not seen before. So learning how to dodge all of these new things has been a complete learning curve. And I'll be honest, extremely difficult. It is extremely difficult. I don't know if it is my fault, because I've basically gone into it on New Game Plus 5, and I have used my level 273 character, which is getting his hand his ass handed to him. Um, I don't know if that's my fault. I don't know what the experience is like for someone who has gone in with a level 150 character on their first playthrough. Um, I don't know if it's completely different for you guys. Obviously, the aggro for my characters just seems like it's through the roof. I am getting battered by everyone. Everyone is just jumping on me with their full force of everything they've got. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm getting my ass handed to me. It's very, very difficult so far. I've done two bosses in my eight hours and both of those bosses have given me an extremely hard time. And the original plan was for me to go through the game, not use any summons, just use my basic swords and obviously the Asher War on those swords. So I'm not allowed to use just regular magic, but I can use the Asher War on my swords and buffs. I have had to use a summon in the most recent boss fight because I died about 30 or 40 times before I had to do it. I was realising it wasn't going to happen. I was chipping away some health and I really wasn't doing enough. And when I eventually did kill them, it wasn't even me that killed them. It was my mimic because I died. I literally died seconds before they died and I got the win. And it's embarrassing. It's, it's really embarrassing and I don't like to admit it. But that's what happened, and unfortunately, I couldn't go and fight them again. So they're dead, they're dead, but I don't feel proud about it, okay? It's that, I mean, that's as simple as it gets. But generally, great so far for the bosses. They all look the part, they look phenomenal, um, but they're, they're nails. They're extremely difficult. So if you're going into this expecting to just run through it, don't. I was humbled so quickly, unbelievably quickly. The basic enemies you can kill them quite easily. As long as you dodge them, they may have new attacks that you haven't seen before, so it will take a bit of a moment to learn how to dodge. But generally, as soon as you get to the point where you come to a boss fight, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a fight, okay? So now I want to talk about the map in itself and how it all looks. So it looks Elden Ring. It, it is Elden Ring. If it looks better than the previous map, I wouldn't say so. It looks pretty much just like a new area on the new map. It is a little bit more gothic in the essence of it being a little bit darker. Obviously, the world of Elden Ring 
the the urn tree itself is is gold and lit up so it has that element of brightness to it whereas that is gone in this area so it is a little bit more i'd say gothic in that aspect still looks great still looks the part and it definitely still feels elden ring doesn't feel like you've gone somewhere that is nothing to do with the, the world in itself. It still feels like Elden Ring. It just feels like a new part of it, which is which is exactly what you want, to be honest with you. It still has all the exploration. It has so many nooks and crannies that you can find and get into, and so many new little secrets. Um, and generally, the exploration side of it and the feel of the map still feels great, still feels really, really nice. So now let's talk about the story. So when it comes to the story, I'm not going to give you guys any spoilers. As you've noticed throughout the whole video, I've not given you any names, any actual enemies. I've not told you much because I don't want to give you guys any actual spoilers because I don't, I don't like spoilers. I've never been a fan of spoilers. I like to go in things fresh minded and not have a clue and learn myself. And I know that that's what a lot of people want. So if you're one of those people who released spoilers last night before midnight and just chased views, I don't even have a word for you. It is, I, just, I don't agree with it. I think it's disgusting. It's just not fair. And I just, I, I don't understand why you're that desperate for attention and for views. It just, for me, I'd rather you guys have the experience that you guys want and try and enjoy the game the way you want to enjoy it rather than me come along and just throw stuff at you. Um, so yeah, so like I said, this is a generic, just completely spoiler-free zone. And I'm going to get into what I think so far they're doing with the story element and not the actual story itself. So when it comes to the story, they are giving you the story basically on a platter. They're basically feeding you what you've got to do next, which is really kind of quite nice. Coming from the base game, obviously you guys have like seen it. You 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 don't know what's happening. You've really got to sort of figure out what's going on and you kind of just follow the flow of the map more than anything else. Whereas this, they basically tell you where you've got to go and how you've got to do it and this, that and the other. It is quite simple to follow. As long as you kind of find the areas that they're sort of telling you to go to, you're basically going to be giving it on a silver platter, which so far has been quite nice. It meant that I'm able to just flow along and get it all done and go in. I say flow along, get it all done. It's been solid. So I've been spending hours and hours doing not a lot, to be honest with you. And I've still had a chance to go and explore and come back to where I need to go. Um, but generally, the story seems like it is very easy to follow and you know what you've got to do which is nice for new players but also those new players would have had to have got to the point where they beat Moog which meant they would have had to gone through all sorts of stuff anyway um so I mean it kind of works in your favor but also it feels very different to how they did it before so yeah really nice little aspect it is nice to just have it easy for once um but at the same time as they've still got certain elements of like side stories that you've really kind of got to figure out yourself so it is very much still elden ring it is just a little bit easier than what it was before story wise the bosses are still nails but the story is a lot easier to follow and i think that's kind of what they've done i think they've realized just how difficult the bosses were going to be so they thought right we know we're giving you a hard time here let's give you an easy time here nice works for me i quite enjoy it so yeah, overall, when it comes to looking at the game as just one big aspect, it is really, really refreshing. It is really nice. It feels like you're playing Elden Ring for the first time. Um, because of the fact that everything feels so different, it does feel like you're playing a whole new game that is Elden Ring. It feels like Elden Ring 2, to be honest with you, um, but they've given it to us in a DLC that's half the price of the regular game. And I honestly, I can't fault it. So far, it's been absolutely brilliant. I'm really intrigued on how the story is going to unfold and how they can actually intertwine all these old characters with these new characters and yeah i'm really enjoying it i hope you guys out there are really enjoying it too and i'm intrigued and i'm very interested on how this is all gonna go so overall i'm gonna give it a good 9.5 i think there's the only thing that's sort of letting it down so far are kind of the frame rates i don't know if anyone else has noticed this but like certain parts of the map aren't loading in straight away they are loading in like eventually after a few seconds um but I have found that a few things haven't quite loaded in instantly. Um, but that isn't the end of the world. It is just a tiny little notch. And generally, I think the game has been fantastic. So, yeah, my first day of review, my first feeling of the game is overly positive. I am under a lot of stress trying to get it completed. But 
I think it is so far a really, really enjoyable piece of content that is just going to be a little bit of training in the background for me to go and, and, and smash this out the park. But yeah, I will be releasing some gameplay eventually. I'm going to give it a day and then I'll start releasing, the, uh, repl uh, start releasing, not replacing the gameplay to you guys so that you guys can see just how awful I am. <laughs> um, but I, I am going to wait a day for that. I, like I said, I want to give you guys a chance to experience it yourself before I come along and throw content in your face. So ladies and gentlemen, that's all this is for today. I want to give you guys my first thoughts on the game and my excitement is is there i'm hyped i'm i'm genuinely really enjoying it um but i'm getting my ass handed to me so yeah it's a real humbling feeling just what this game does to you ladies and gentlemen i'll see you probably tomorrow and i will uh, i'll get you guys some gameplay have a wonderful wonderful day please go and enjoy the game hopefully no one has spoiled it for you and uh, and yeah really really get your teeth sunk into it and be prepared to be humbled if you go into it and you just smash through it and your nails come back here i'll give you i'll give you the world i will be so impressed because mad mad humbling experience Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? It'll help me and Natty continue to do the work that we're doing and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thanks.